This video will demonstrate the basic principles of 3D modeling in polygons from reference, which will enable you to model anything from a car to a character. An understanding of these principles is all you need to model quickly and efficiently. Modeling techniques are of course not a single set classical rule. But it's always good to try to reach the final result in the shortest way, always trying to learn how to do things as quickly and efficiently as possible from a technical standpoint. All of these foundations should follow the general rule of working on stages, starting and focusing on the bigger portions and only moving to the details after you are certain of the large surfaces. Let us start with proportions. Modeling any object is a huge time investment. It would be very wise to do all what you can to make sure that you don't need any expensive corrections later on. Take this car as an example. Even if you are very lucky and did find accurate blueprints like these for the model you are making, nonetheless it would still be a good idea to take the effort to double check the 3D model and to camera match it to reference photos, to be absolutely certain everything is in order. It will also help you in areas which are not visible in the blueprints. In cases when you have no accurate blueprints or none to start with, you are really dependent on reference images and any measurements you have to create a rough base or layout model. Matching the bigger forms first, then moving to the smaller ones. Even when modeling objects which you don't have any measurements for, you can always use non-familiar objects to compare with. It's very important though to remember our general rule. Always start with the bigger proportions, then move to the smaller details. This alone will save you a lot of effort. For more, you can view this article to learn more about proportions. Now, once you have good reference or laid out model to build on, we can move on to perception of surfaces. One particular book we will quickly have a look at here is Betty Edwards' The New Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. In this book, she explains how drawing is a whole skill made up of basic skills which has to do more with perception and understanding rather than any physical skill. For 3D modeling, we of course need many skills intertwined with each other. But if we want things simplified, we can focus on how to perceive a surface. But what is meant by surface perception? Take a look at this car. Do you find it made up of many complex surfaces and have a hard time knowing the best starting point for modeling it? But surely we can agree that if you forget this small edge over here and this small bump, modeling this surface is quite easy. How about this area? It isn't too difficult, is it? This one and this? But wait, what about the other surfaces and details connected to it? While it's preferable that you have enough experience to plan the whole modeling process and final results in advance, I can assure you that you will get something rather quickly as well, simply by modeling the easy large surfaces first while forgetting about the details and how they are all connected. Once that is done, you can connect the surfaces and move to a higher resolution and work more on the details. From what we learned so far, we can finally put the process of 3D modeling into two words, simplifying surfaces. But please keep in mind, while it has been easy to demonstrate, it still needs some experience to be able to know when to simplify something and what would constitute a surface. Once all the theoretical fundamentals are behind us, we can move on to some of the technical details. There are so many methods, tips and tricks to improve your workflow that would make listing them in a short video quite a challenge. And many of these techniques will change as the software and tools develop. But I'm going to mention here one particular workflow that goes hand in hand with our general rule of working on stages and perceiving and modeling surfaces. Working with a large number of vertices is time consuming and quite cumbersome, which requires a lot of editing and changing of positions of each individual vertex. A way to minimize the number of vertices you work with and keep modifications and changes of vertices to a bare minimum is to use hard edges to avoid adding support loops. This would keep the mesh simpler, easier to edit, and you can see the results instantly. Here, you can see how a mesh using hard edges can give a result very close to the final one. And you could also apply another mesh smooth on top of it to smooth the edges. The use of hard edges on different stages in the process will greatly increase your productivity. To recap, we can summarize the whole modeling process as following. 